trends that come and go, but today we're talking about nine things that you can do to your home that will stand the test of time. So let's get right into it. The first thing you can do to your home that will still be on trend 20 years from now are built-ins. These are amazing for so many reasons. You can use them for storage, you can decorate on them, and they make a room feel larger than it really is. I did this beautiful feature wall of built-ins in my last house in a nice, light, crisp white color, and these are actually Ikea bookcases. So super affordable, and they just have trim added to them to make them look more built-in. Currently, I'm working on building an arched bookcase in my dining room office that I'm thinking will be a gorgeous, moody, dark gray color. I recommend going floor to ceiling with built-ins to really give them that wow factor and always add trim pieces to make them extra special. Marble is classic and timeless. Think about marble countertops in a kitchen or a bathroom, a beautiful marble tiled floor, or even a simple marble tray that you can decorate with. This also includes items that have like the marble effect. So maybe your kitchen counters are quartz, but they still have that beautiful veining that makes them stand out. Even a coffee table with faux marble on it can really make a room feel more elegant. In my last house, the master bathroom shower was actually made of porcelain tiles, but it had that marble veining that just made it look so elegant and it would still be in style many years from now. Fabrics are all over your home, on your bedding, your couch, your chairs, or even on a bench cushion. There are so many fabric patterns that come and go, like the chevron or damask aren't really in style anymore, but the fabrics that will last are stripes and plaids. They are timeless. Pillow covers are great to layer in those classic stripes that will always be in style. Designers like Studio McGee, Amber Interiors, and Hearth and Hand, you always see them come out with striped pillows, striped blankets, and other similar home decor items. Stick with a timeless trend like stripes or plaid. The next one is high contrast colors, like a black and white or a dark moody gray or blue with an off-white. These are color combinations that will stand the test of time. We see those beautiful checkerboard floors with the black and white pattern. Some even have that marble effect on them, which really makes them timeless. And there are a lot of abstract art pieces with the black and white brush strokes that are in luxury homes. These high contrast of colors really makes a statement, but is also something that will be around for many years to come. I even painted the trim around my windows black to contrast with the white walls. Painting your interior doors is another example of high contrasting colors. Some rooms also have a dark focal wall or moody dark cabinets. They're all surrounded by other light elements in the room. The next thing I have been obsessed with is molding. So think board and batten, crown molding, large picture frame molding, even a chair rail. There are so many ways you could add molding to your home. Most molding treatments you can DIY and will really elevate the look and the feel of your home. I am currently in the process of adding a beautiful board and batten treatment to my living room right here. And I can't wait to show you when that's done. I have also been adding a super Super simple molding to my front entryway and I have plans to add picture frame molding to my master bedroom to create a focal wall. 
I also recently switched out the shoe molding on my trim to just a simple board and it completely changed the look of the room. You can have so much fun with molding too. You can create a focal wall, put it all over an entire room, go half up a wall and put wallpaper on the top half. You could go three fourths of the way up a wall and put a high contrasting color above the molding. You could also do shiplap, either vertical or horizontal. The possibilities are endless with molding. You can really customize it to your own home. Vintage furniture is something that will always be in style. Usually vintage furniture is made out of solid sturdy wood and has ornate detailing or beautiful curved lines. These details make a room feel collected and layered. A vintage dresser, a vintage dining table, or even a piano would make a gorgeous statement piece in a home. Vintage pieces can also blend well with more modern pieces. So you could add a modern lamp to your vintage piano or a modern piece of art above your vintage dresser. This will create a modern traditional style that will be classic for many years. Even something as simple as vintage feet on a couch can add the extra detail that just makes a room feel complete. I always look for vintage pieces on Marketplace, at an antique store, or even a resale shop. You can usually find vintage furniture for a great deal. I always go for the natural color of wood in a space, but you can always paint a piece of furniture if you'd like to make it your own. The next design trend that you will love to hear are neutral walls. Stick to white or slightly off-white with a hint of cream. I have to admit my first house almost 13 years ago now was very colorful. We're talking about a coral orange kitchen, a brick red dining room, and a mint colored hallway. I'm even cringing just thinking about it. It was totally in style then, but would look super outdated now. We even saw the years where tans were in and then grays were in, and now I've even seen people complain about their whole house being gray. If you stick with white walls, you can add in colorful accents like throw pillows, blankets, and pieces of art, and other small home decor pieces. You can also add texture and warmth to your white room by bringing in wood tones, linen, leather, and rattan pieces. As someone who loves to paint her walls, I will tell you that it does get old after a while. Some of the best white paint colors are Benjamin Moore Simply White and Chantilly Lace and Sherwin-Williams Pure White and High Reflective White. I have a video I'm working on right now on how to pick the best paint colors for your home. The next design trend is Persian rugs. They looked beautiful 100 years ago and they are still gorgeous today. Think of a rug as a piece of art. It really is a statement piece and sets the tone for your room. A real Persian rug is made with natural wool, silk, and vegetable dyes rather than the synthetic materials that we see around today. You can find amazing Persian rugs on Etsy, but they are a bit costly if they are truly authentic. But take a look at some of these rugs. They are just so stunning. If you'd like a more budget-friendly place to find a similar style of rug, there's boutique rugs. Laloi rugs are always beautiful and they mimic that Persian style. And you can find those on Amazon. Other places are Wayfair, West Elm, Pottery Barn, and Rugs Direct. They're all great places to find the Persian rug dupe. Another trend that will never go out of style is organic design. So think of bringing nature inside. Wood is at the top of the list for organic design and having the wood in its natural raw state is the best. 
It's easy to add in wood elements with smaller accent pieces like a dough bowl, a stool, cutting boards in your kitchen, or even an end table. Leather is another piece of organic design that will always be around. I've had my eye on this cute leather ottoman from Studio McGee and I can't wait to add it to my living room. A leather couch or chair adds warmth and color to a room. So be thinking of things that can age beautifully and maintain their value and classic appeal. Other elements of organic design are linens, plants, stone, clay, pottery, natural fibers, and woven textures. I hope these ideas inspired you for your own home. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you back here soon.